Okay, welcome. My name is Monty Henry, owner of DPR Surveillance Equipment. Today's podcast, we're going to focus on um, a very interesting topic. At least I think it's interesting. It has to do with uh, determining whether or not um, you have listening devices, uh, tracking devices, uh, hidden cameras, um, uh, all sorts of different types of what we call bugs either in your home or your office or your car, for instance. And uh, we're experts in the surveillance and security equipment uh, business. We've actually been in business for at least 15 years. And we're the premier company offering three distinguishing things that separate us from the competition. Uh, we have lifetime guarantees and warranties on all our products. Uh, we have 24 seven, 365 tech sales and customer support. And we have the largest inventory of items that not, not only can you purchase, but you can rent and lay away as well. Um, and today's topic, we're gonna to focus on uh, what we call uh, bug detection or counter surveillance 101. Basically what that amounts to is, we're gonna make sure that you understand that if you have um, an, an office and you're in a corporate environment, for instance, and you wanna get a handle on, on industrial espionage to make sure your trade secrets and your marketing uh, uh, strategies and intellectual property, trademarks, uh, copyrights, et cetera, stay within the company and don't make it out into um, the, some uh, individual's hands, uh, competition, et cetera, um, then we need to focus on what we call counter surveillance or bug detection, okay? And typically what that means is you have electronic equipment. For instance, we have electronic equipment we call bug detectors and they allow you to sweep your home or sweep your office or sweep your car. In a, a corporate environment, um, a lot of times you wanna find out whether or not uh, there's listening devices in your, for instance, in your conference room before you have meetings. Typically our customers wanna scan to see if there's any cell phones that are, uh, that are on. A lot of times uh, when you have highly, highly sensitive meetings, you wanna make absolutely sure that the cell phones are turned off and that um, no one is, is, is actually listening into those conversations, okay? So that's what we're primarily trying to do, make sure that those, uh, um, those cell phones are turned off, that there is no other type of transmitting devices in your conference rooms, for instance. Uh, that includes uh, cameras as well. And, and um, that way, when you, when you have your, your meetings, you can make sure that what's talked about uh, conveyed inside of those meetings actually stays inside of those meetings. And um, this is a multi-billion dollar industry, okay? Uh, industrial espionage is a multi-billion dollar industry. And there are a lot of um, adversaries out there that would love to get a hold of your uh, personal and confidential trademark patented information, okay? So make sure that you understand that um, you, if you invest millions of dollars and protecting your intellectual property inside of your corporation, our government agencies, et cetera, that that information stays within those walls and doesn't get into the hands of, again, um, uh, competitors, whether they be domestic or foreign. We all hear about uh, uh, China, we hear about Russia, we hear about a number of different companies, uh, countries rather, that are uh, taking a keen interest in, in, in taking trademark patented information um, put it into the uh, hands of their competitor uh, uh, co uh, companies outside the United States, for instance. And then we have cheap knockoff products uh, that may somehow make it back into the United States, compromising uh, everything that we're trying to accomplish. Um, after we've already invested millions and hundreds of millions of dollars in, in critical research and development, okay? And in the residential environment, a lot of you have probably wondered whether or not um, either your spouse or maybe um, roommates even um, have taken upon themselves to install uh, hidden uh, cameras, for instance. Um, a lot of times women want to make sure that uh, in their households, uh, for instance, that uh, managers, landlords, uh, super, superintendents, whoever, have not put hidden cameras and listen and or listening devices into those particular uh, residential environments. Okay, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of interest by our what women customers and even men can be included. And we want to make that really sure that your privacy inside uh, your home 
whether you're buying or renting, that your privacy stays uh, stays private, okay? So if you've ever suspected that someone may have put a hidden camera, uh, listening device uh, in your home, then uh, we have bug detectors. Basically our bug detectors work just like metal detectors. You will um, take that uh, bug detector and walk around and use it like a metal detector, okay? And that way you can determine whether or not um, there's a hidden camera or something. Our bug detectors typically operate in three modes. They either uh, light up or they will um, vibrate or they will make a certain sound, okay? So again, just like a metal detector, the closer you get to the suspected target, uh, which is the bug, for instance, the more these devices will light up or, um, uh, or make a sound or vibrate, okay? And, um, while we're waiting on a few individuals to join us, I'm going to go ahead and advertise um, as much as possible uh, this particular session. Okay, uh, let's see here the best way to do this. I think I'm gonna go off the record uh, just for a moment while I do some advertising, make sure that all my Twitter followers, Facebook fans or whatever. So that uh, when we finally get started, um, I'll have um, people hold from the various social media networking sites that we are part of. Uh, we're going to bring them into the group as well. Um, so this was just okay. Welcome back. Um, again, this particular uh, session is sponsored by BPL Surveillance Equipment. Uh, we're a full service surveillance and security equipment uh, company. We have perhaps the largest inventory of uh, surveillance and security equipment, uh, state-of-the-art surveillance and security equipment uh, available. Um, and all of our products are, of course, uh, lifetime guaranteed and warranted. And uh, we're one of the few companies that also has 24-7, um, uh, 365 tech sales and customer support. Um, and we've been in business since 1997 and we've been catering to uh, law enforcement, uh, government agencies all around the world, in addition to uh, working with consumers, uh, especially via our rental program. So um, if you consumers out there are trying to find out whether your houses, uh, cars, uh, vacation homes, et cetera, um, whether or not there's hidden cameras or listening devices in there, uh, you may want to give us a call and we can talk to you about resolving those types of issues, okay? I know a lot of times uh, women, they'll even go to um, their local health clubs and there's been uh, plenty of information in the news where uh, women have gone to health clubs or health spas or something uh, and then they find out later on that there were hidden cameras and uh, different things in those particular places. So that's what we, what we want to focus on, making absolutely sure that uh, when you go out, uh, particularly to those types of places, that uh, you don't have to worry about um, whether or not there's going to be a problem or not, okay? And we have a very small covert um, bug detectors. Uh, we have bug detectors that you can put in your purse um, or in your blouse, and, and you can walk into your local health club or spa um, women's restrooms and restaurants, for instance. And if you want to check and see for yourself whether or not there's a hidden camera there, then by all means, use your portable, use our portable bug detectors to find out whether or not there's hidden cameras in there. And then also uh, for you uh, ladies who uh, just happen to have uh, positions and maybe in a, a boardroom or a corporate environment, and you want to make absolutely sure that uh, the competitors have, haven't compromised uh, um, uh, the privacy of that particular type of situation, 
Uh, you can use our state-of-the-art uh, uh, bug detectors, even that in, in that environment as well. You simply use our products, um, just like a metal detector, for instance, and they're designed to be consumer friendly as far as the instructions goes, while at the same time having uh, significant sophistication so you can find uh, whether or not there's uh, hidden bugs, cameras, trackers, listening devices, Wi-Fi based products, GSM, WiMAX type of technology in, the, in those environments as well. Um, corporate espionage is a multi-billion dollar industry and uh, trademarks and patents and uh, intellectual property does get compromised uh, pretty much every day. Uh, we hear something on the news where uh, some foreign country has compromised uh, and, and taken uh, intellectual property uh, belonging to major corporations in the United States, um, major um, federal government agencies as well. Um, in addition to um, taking things from uh, consumers and individuals. Uh, outside of corporate America. So make sure you guys understand uh, we have a solution to those problems and you don't have to worry about making uh, be, being a victim of corporate espionage. So, and uh, we wanna say welcome to um, the individual who just joined us. And it looks like um, Luke has, is part of the group. If Luke, if you wanna come on in, uh, we have an open seat right now and um, We'd be glad to entertain your questions, comments, or suggestions. Uh, we are a full service surveillance and security equipment company. And uh, we've been business, in business for, uh, for a long time, since 1997. And today's um, lab uh, is focused on uh, bug detection, counter surveillance, bug detection 101 uh, for those people who are new to this particular type of uh, uh, subject matter. Uh, now is the time to find out everything you always wanted to know about bug detection and counter surveillance, but we're afraid to ask. Now is the time to find out uh, what it's all about. Um, we're on record and we're going to be recording this session. And uh, so if you, if you just want to hang out and listen, that's fine and play, play it back later or take a look at the links on the right hand side. You can see that we have our official corporate website. And again, tons of experience dealing with the military agencies of the world, the law enforcement agencies, private investigators, um, intelligence agencies, and in addition to um, end users who have retail stores, shops, um, universities, um, uh, also take advantage of our uh, state-of-the-art surveillance and security equipment uh, on a daily basis. So. Uh, make sure that you understand that you're in good company and we'll hopefully we're qualified to answer any questions uh, that you can think of uh, on this subject matter, okay? And we have, as you can see, live chat on our website. So you can go there uh, anytime you want and uh, chat with us and uh, pose your toughest questions to our surveillance and security uh, experts and we'll be glad to answer them for you and uh, give you a good idea in terms of how we can resolve or help you resolve your problems. Uh, again, some of the things that people are concerned about today are uh, revolve around just making sure that their, their privacy stays intact, whether it's your car, you wanna make sure there's no tracker, GPS tracker on your car or on your phone or your landline is not compromised. Uh, in addition to, you wanna make sure that um, there is no listening devices in your home or your office or your, your vacation home. Um, that's what we're trying to focus on today. Some of the, we're gonna go into some of the steps that you can actually take um, as far as protecting your privacy and use it, utilizing our state-of-the-art bug detectors. We have um, four particular bug detectors that we like to um, mention. And um, one of them on the low end it's more affordable and I'm gonna put a link to that one. And these items, they go fast out of our rental inventory, for instance. So if you have a, a situation where you need a bug detector and you wanna rent it because you don't have a permanent problem but you have a temporary problem, then you, you probably should call us as soon as possible. I have a GPS tracker in my car and post it to Abe's file. 
Okay. If you want to come on in and uh, we can talk about this apes phi. I'm not quite sure what that is, but if you want to give me some idea what apes phi is. That doesn't sound familiar. Uh, we can talk about, um, or you can let me know <laughs> what apes phi is. I'll be glad to uh, look into it. So how do you use uh, F oh, it's Finland, okay. So the GPS tracker in your car, if I understand you correctly, is, uh, is that that's probably something that you use yourself uh, to, to track your own vehicle? Okay, uh, can you hear me okay? Um, let's see. Uh, Luke, can you hear me? Yeah, thousands of vehicles. Thousands of vehicles, people. Okay, bicycles. Ships. Well, I guess what we're referring to, um, Luke, is uh, what you're speaking of, it sounds like it's non-covert tracking. I think these are situations where you know that uh, there is a tracker there and um, we're, we're, not, we're not trying to identify a known tracker. We're, we're, we're trying to focus on um, trackers, for instance, on your vehicle that are not supposed to be there. <laughs> Trackers in your house are something that's not supposed to be there. Uh, most people won't have a problem uh, identifying their low jack system or the H5 system that they bought. Um, th that's a non-issue for the most part. I think when you get a bug detector, and you typically get one because you want to find something that's intended to be hidden, and, 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 the, and so the person who planted it, they don't want you to find it. So there's a major difference, you guys when it comes to uh, finding a hidden camera, finding a hidden listening device, or finding something that's not supposed to be in your house or your office, okay? So uh, make sure you understand that, uh, you know, in the United States, for instance, just like in other countries, you, buy, you can buy certain trackers uh, from commercial uh, sources and, and put them on your vehicles. Uh, that's different, but what we're referring to is a uh, hidden technology that someone does not want you to find. And um, where that could be a, a, a hidden camera, a tracker, listening device, et cetera. Uh, these are some of the things that we're, we're, we're gonna be focusing on, things that um, someone wants to hide from you and, and track you and find your whereabouts um, without you having any clue that um, they're actually uh, listening in on your conversation, okay? Uh, so if anyone has any questions regarding uh, bug detection, uh, let's get some feedback, track me. Well, people typically would track you um, because they wanna uh, find out where you're going, uh, what are you doing? Um, Sometimes uh, law enforcement, government agencies, or private individuals want to find out, um, you know, where you're going. If you are working for corp corporate America and you're working for a company that has valuable intellectual property, corporate secrets, for instance, they may want to know uh, where do you live, what route do you take to work, or something, and that way they can find out more about you and therefore find out more about your company and maybe um, find out what you're working on, okay? Just, just same thing if you're working for some government agency and um, if I can put a tracker on your car, I can find out um, where you go. Maybe you visit certain bars and restaurants and you're hanging out and, and particip participate in a social, certain social activity. I can, if I can find out as much as possible about you, I might be able to compromise um, some of the trade secrets or government secrets or marketing secrets that, um, that you might be involved with. So it's a very good question. And, and these are some of the reasons 
why uh, people would want to track and monitor other people. So that's a, a very good question. And um, we want to keep those questions coming as, 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 as long as possible while we're here and until we decide to close out this particular session, okay? So that was a very good question. And if anybody else wants to jump on in or come in, uh, we'll be glad to uh, entertain your questions. So um, just so you guys know when you, for instance, when you're trying to find out whether or not your car has a tracker on it, we have certain um, uh, uh, techniques that we deploy and we uh, have an approach, unlike most uh, retail, retailers that are selling and, and uh, selling uh, bug detection and, and uh, counter surveillance products, we actually send out to you a lot of information with our products that tell you exactly how to do a proper sweep. Uh, we noticed a long time ago that a lot of a lot of our competitors, they don't really tell you how to um, approach counter surveillance or bug detection. When they send out their products, to the uh, competitors, for instance, when they send out their products to you, for the most part, they're going to just give you a package, send it to you, give you a half a page of instructions or something, and then you're gonna be on your own as far as trying to figure out what you're doing, okay? Our, our approach is a little bit different. We're, we're not only gonna send you a product, but we're gonna email you the equivalent of um, uh, 15 years of experience so that you will be able to um, open up your package. But before you do that, you, you, you'll um, um, get this email that has video links in it and it has um, articles in it and podcasts and it's the accumulative knowledge of our, of our time in the business where you can actually learn a great deal about surveillance, trying to straighten up my shirt here, <laughs> surveillance uh, long before you get um, that, uh, that, that order actually de delivered to you. You're gonna have more information than most uh, private investigators and a lot of the experts in the field because Again, we, we're gleaning information from the Justice Department, intelligence agencies, uh, very knowledgeable, experienced private investigators, and you're gonna have that information at your disposal. So make sure that you understand there's a big difference in terms of how we operate at DPR surveillance equipment versus the competitors, okay? Um, so again, when you get that initial email after you order, it doesn't matter whether or not you buy or rent, when you get that initial email, um, you're going to uh, open up that email and you're going to see that um, there's a ton of information in there and we're going to talk to you about how to um, do a, a preparation, okay? We, we, we notice a lot of competitors don't put enough emphasis on preparing to do a sweep, okay? Long before you get your product, Make sure you understand you have to prepare to do the sweep so you won't get a lot of what we call false positives. And that way you will spend less time uh, guessing in terms of whether or not there's a bug there. And you'll spend more time actually finding bugs, finding the hidden tracker, finding the, um, the various things that you're looking for. So uh, again, this is one of the things that we put a lot of emphasis on uh, getting past um, the uh, learning stage and the learning curve uh, associated with when when you're um, when, when you're looking for bugs. Okay, we want to we want to get right to the uh, actual um, locating the act of locating a bug. Okay, so we have uh, bug detectors bug, bug detectors of all sorts. Um, and also, just so you know, wireless cameras and wired cameras are also a problem. They're classified as bugs as well. Someone could put a Wi-Fi based bug in your home or in your office, and we're going to help you find those as well. Uh, we have a couple of products that we like to focus on when it comes to those things. We have a wired and wireless hidden camera finder, and uh, we have 
um, uh, a wired camera finder, okay? The major difference is the wireless camera finder is going to help you find cameras that are wireless, okay? So if I hide a wireless camera in your house or your office, you want to be able to find that camera, right? And the way we're going to help you find it is that camera is going to broadcast a wireless signal back to me and I'm going to be able to see it on a screen, okay? An LCD monitor or some sort of screen and you're going to be able to um, see what you're going to be able to see what's going on in someone else's house. Okay. If, if you're the one that's looking at someone else, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on, going on in their home or their office uh, remotely. Okay. So again, wireless cameras, they're miniaturized, they're hidden in, in almost anything imaginable, and they will allow someone to see what's going on in your home or your office or your car or wherever that wireless camera happens to be located. So, and if you're looking for a wired camera and they're very difficult to find because they don't broadcast a signal, wired cameras typically are going to record the video right into the, um, the SD card typically of the particular uh, device. So again, if we, if we have a wired camera in our house and it's hidden, it's not broadcasting a signal outside the home. It's, 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 it's recording right into an internal uh, recording uh, uh, device, like an SD card or something. Okay, so that's what you're going to be looking for when it comes to um, those, um, those particular types of technologies. You're going to be looking for a, um, a camera that's capable of um, being turned on or turned off, or it can be wireless, or it can be wired. Okay, so again, make sure you understand there's a major difference when you're looking for these types of technologies, because if someone can turn a camera off, that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to find it. And um, make sure that you talk, ask us for the wired and wireless hidden camera finder when you contact us. If you think there's any possibility that someone can turn a camera off when you're looking for it, then we want to look for the camera lens. We want a state-of-the-art wired and wireless hidden camera finder, OK? That's gonna take care of those situations again, where the camera could be turned on or off, or the camera is um, uh, not transmitting a signal at all because it's recording into an internal um, uh, mechanism like an SD card or miniaturized drive of some sort, okay? And um, just so you know, we, you guys, we're on LinkedIn and I'm gonna give you a link to some information that we have on LinkedIn so that those of you who want to go to our professional LinkedIn site, they can see um, that we have groups uh, consisting of private investigators and uh, law enforcement people as part of our LinkedIn groups. And you can join that group and get updates about our um, the products that are on LinkedIn as well. Okay, uh, so again, remember, if there's any possibility that you, you may have a situation where a camera is capable of being turned off or recording onto an SD card and it's not transmitting the signal outside your home, uh, doesn't mean you can't find it, it just means you need the proper tool. So get the, um, the wired, I'm uh, sorry, the wireless and wired hidden camera finder three, that's on our website. And we're gonna conclude uh, this particular session and we'll probably come back on uh, a little bit later and do another topic. Um, yeah, so uh, look for our, um, our information, um, follow us, uh, and uh, check out our, our Facebook and Twitter pages and all that. 
so that you can um, contact us and, and we have a live chat uh, so that anytime you want to chat with us, uh, use that live chat box. And um, we do have discount coupons. We do take Bitcoin. And again, you can buy, you can rent, or you can lay away products and you can take advantage of our lifetime warranties. Unlike the competition, our products have lifetime guarantees and warranties, which mean there is no such thing as a 30, 60 or 90 day warranty. We have lifetime guarantees and warranties. There's only one company on the internet or offline for that matter. That's us. It has a lifetime guarantee and warranty. It doesn't expire. You don't have to worry about not getting tech support, not getting help. We just want you to call us or email us for support and we'll take care of you, okay? So we are a major player in this industry. We've been around for a long, long time and we're going to be around a long, long time. And we're gonna close out this session. So uh, unless you have any questions, anyone who has a question, uh, we're gonna close out this session and um, we'll probably open up again a little bit later and talk about something else. But there's a lot of information um, that, um, let's see, we have mission and personal. Uh, do you have a question? Uh, you want to like take advantage of this open seat before we close out or? Okay, looks like we have someone who has a question before we close out. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you just fine, coming through loud and clear. Oh, nice. How are you, how you doing? Good, you, man? Pretty good, thank you. You have so, a question, comment, suggestion? Um, no, I just joined because of the, the name of the uh, blab. Okay, did it spark your interest when you saw counter, <laughs> counter surveillance? Did it kind of like spark it did. your interest? Well, why is that? Um, what, what went through your mind when you saw that title? Um, I don't know, like, counter, I would say counter anything is like a preparation for something else to happen, right? Exactly, right. So that's, that was basically where my head was at, bro. That's cool. Yeah, we, um, typically there are situations where you, somebody has you under surveillance, uh, as far as this title is concerned, and then there are situations where you want to make sure that um, you defeat their, their ability to have you under surveillance. So what, what do, you, do you have any idea in terms of what situation that you want to ask about or, you know, um, because you, you may want to someday do surveillance on someone else or maybe you want to- I would love to actually, no, not on like, not on a specific person. Right. But like for a job, heck yeah. Okay, now- Is this so, like an industry you work in? Right. On me? Yeah, I, I mean, in, in general, like, it's like security, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I own the company, and um, my partner, Carolyn Aranda, who's um, uh, off to the side right now, taking care of some administrative things. Right, we actually um, are the owners of, uh, you know, this surveillance and security equipment company. And we have tons of experience actually providing law enforcement, government agencies and consumers and everyone with the ability to do surveillance on others or prevent others from doing surveillance on them. And we know we put a lot of emphasis on, in, uh, on education. If you just wanna know about uh, surveillance and security or personal protection, then we, we, help, we help people out with that as well. So wow. kind of like try to I, cover all the bases. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool to be honest. I think uh, it's cool, man. Thank you. If you like gadgets, um, or like a lot of people, then you're really going to have a field day when you start to take a look at some of these things because you're going to say, wow, you know, I got to get some of that stuff. <laughs> right, right. And, uh, right. So like my, um, uh, my only like personal surveillance project would have been I was getting attacked by the neighborhood kids like all the time. Exactly. Okay. Like so... Uh, I was working nights and I swear they watched for my car to go and then they would, wow. uh, they would terrorize my wife basically. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. 
Okay. So I was I was like this close to putting some cameras up or something because I felt like every time I left, they knew I was gone, right? Right. It's only like this is like I don't know. I don't even know their ages because they're too much of wimps to actually meet me. But they're like young kids. But like, I want to know who's coming on my property. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's a very legitimate concern. Definitely. Yeah. Well, when I was away, they would like ring the doorbell. And this is when she was pregnant, too. So it was. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. (laughs) No, it wasn't because I'm getting a call and I'm, I'm way away. So like. If I'm 45 minutes away, what the heck can I do? Oh, yeah. Do anything, yeah, you can't you know exactly I mean? rush back every time. Yeah. No, you can't, you know? Yeah. And that's when where it, this would come in, I think. Like, that's, you know what I mean? When you say, like, a legitimate concern, yeah. Yeah. yeah see, t- uh, yeah, things have, have progressed to the point now, you know, where, yeah, you can leave home uh, uh, 45 minutes or 45,000 miles away now. And uh, find out what's going on and keep tabs on what's going on. Yeah, once upon a time, myself and people that I know personally, we wish we knew what our children were doing and siblings were doing to us and to our personal belongings and all that. And you know, it's like, okay, well, I wish I had something then. So, so. Is that where this started? That's pretty funny, actually, if that's where that started, you know? Yeah, well, that's a little bit different. Actually, I was trying to help women collect child support payments from deadbeat spouses. Awesome. And, yeah, Hell thanks. Yeah, man. yeah, thanks. We were, um, there was all these women that were, had these deadbeat spouses and we said, you know, we're going to post the pictures of your spouses on the internet. We're going to shame these guys into being responsible. And, Heck and yeah. uh, believe it or not though, see the, the what was Oh, they probably weird. came back at you twice as hard. Oh, I can imagine I was on the hit list for a few people, probably. Right, yeah. But unfortunately, though, see, that when the guys left these women, they left them with their children. And the women, of course, would spend most of the time being homemakers, taking care of the children and all that. So they weren't getting the job skills, education, different things, so they could prepare themselves just in case this happened, right? Right. So it was a real challenge for us to ask the women, can you pay us a fee to track down right, this right, dead yeah. beat? Yeah, they were like, wait a minute, you know, this guy left me with nothing. And now and you're was, asking for money for me. Exactly. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, that's rough. And it was a real tragic paradox. How do you, uh, would you do, would you, do you decide like that's not the market or? Right. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. After three years, we said, look, we're plowing money. We're plowing time into this model. It's not exactly working out. What can we do? We still want to help the women, right? Right. Yeah, of look, course. But like, you can't do it for free. I mean, you got to eat, no. right? Yeah. Lo and behold, we said, you know what? These women need some tools, okay? They need some real tools to get their hands on. We said, what if we give these women some hidden cameras, some listening devices or something. And lo and behold, I found uh, uh, an alarm clock radio with a hidden camera <laughs> and, 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 and from one of my suppliers and we, I put it on the website, right? All of a sudden, these, Hot kicks. <laughs> all of a sudden the checks started coming in. I had checks, I had no business checking account. So, <laughs> so I, took the, I went to my PO box and I pulled this check out of there. It's addressed to the company. And I couldn't officially cash it. I begged my local branch to, to help me cash it. Okay, you mean it's different than the uh... right? We we weren't really prepared. We we, we right because you didn't. You were like you're trying to help someone, <laughs> and then you're like, right. oh man, this is gonna be for real. And, and now yeah, people are yeah. It's funny because they said, look, this is what you got to do. Set up this business. It sounds like you're gonna be, be a viable business, as far as we're concerned. We'll show you how to set it up. And then from that point, yeah, we started to structure it like a business and, and, and all that. I'll tell you this, and not <laughs> this is not making fun of what you do, but right. you remember in uh, Meet the Parents? I think so, yeah. You know, the parents, and they, he puts it in like teddy bear, he puts the cameras in oh, the Oh, yeah, teddy yeah, bears. right. That was funny. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. It was funny, but it's also genius. Oh, sure. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. in the teddy bear. 
yeah <laughs> no, like, <laughs> it's also pretty genius you know what i, I mean? love i love that movie because i'm in the business and i and i watched that movie with great intensity <laughs> probably more intensity than in most of the people because you know we're thinking oh my god you know Right. They're gonna Can do you this like, do like that. A... Could you actually do that? Because <laughs> right. that would yeah. sell. That would sell in a heartbeat. No, no, that that was one of the movies that Hollywood did a good job in terms of showing you what is what we're doing. They didn't really make up much at all. Right, because it wasn't like true. overly done. It was just like in no. the movie. You know what I mean? It was it, it was the basic truth to what we're doing and what can be done. And and it was cool, funny. Man. I like, yeah, <laughs> I love that that movie. Yeah, and those characters and those those actors and actresses were some of my favorites anyway. So you know. Yeah, I mean, how do you go wrong <laughs> with, with that? <laughs> exactly, you, know I mean? you really can't. Right. If, if, if they would have came out with a three and a four and a five or something, I probably would have watched them regardless. Right, and because yeah. even at like two, it wasn't as funny as it was at one. But they're yeah. just great actors, and I mean. No, yeah, you're you, talking you like, De Niro. You're, you're, I mean, oh you, my you're god, talking yeah. De Niro, you're talking, <laughs> exactly. you know, the best out there. I one of the best out there. You know, oh, you yeah, know who I only think is high on my list. Who's that? Um, Pacino. No, I think uh, who doesn't really get put in the same because like uh, Pacino always gets put with De Niro, but yeah, no, Jack. oh, Jack, he's the man, like. If you could get him in a film, you're a mate. Yeah. You're a mate. That guy yeah, has like one can. face, and you're like, wow, that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. No, he's probably some weird method actor that takes a part and he makes it himself. He probably has trouble distinguishing who Jack is because yeah. his parts are so. He just, you know, well, like, I was, um, I was ready to go to bed the other night, and The Departed was on. And I'm watching, right? And it's him 